Happy 24 ounce Tuesday. Didn't think I don't think I did one last week, but I don't have again. I don't get 24 ounce beers, but this one kind of looks like a 24 ounce beer. So um, let's see how close I am. It's a pint, whatever the hell that adds up to. Anyway, this is a local beer I have here uh, from a burr called uh, Three. Three, three stars. Is that right? Yeah, Three Stars Brewing Company. It, it's uh, it's actually a cool little place. It's in a warehouse. Um, it is in north, I think northeast DC or northeast central DC, and um, you know you can go in, get tours and everything. It's not too big, but they are starting to distribute. They're kind of on that cusp right now where they're going from just brewing to uh, uh, you know the tasting room and and uh, you know serving some local places to actually starting to to kick out on uh, distributing so it's good to see them kind of turn the corner but uh, they have some pretty interesting beers one of the they've had a uh, peppercorn saison um, they had a really good imperial stout I can't remember what it was called uh, but this one here is called citra lemon it's a saison and uh, it's brewed with lemon peel so let's see 5.72% uh, ABV, so nice uh, light drinking here on my day off on a on a Tuesday. Uh, well, we had snow. The kids kids were at home, so I stayed home with them. And I was supposed to actually go to the doctor this morning, and you know, got a got a phone call. You know, they canceled my appointment, so I'll do it tomorrow morning. But anyway, cheers. It's a saison. Uh, it'll do for the video, I guess. Uh, anyway, what am I going to ramble about today? So I just got through watching a couple of videos. I saw Alex Rock, uh, you know, start off his video by opening a beer mill of Hetty Topper. Who does that? Who does that, really? I think once I actually had a uh, Westy 12 uh, that a buddy had sent me from Belgium, so, you know. I guess I have done that before too, but I would really love to get a four pack of Hetty Topper. Actually, I got some Hetty Topper. A guy that used to work for me, uh, who found out I was getting into homebrew. I think I told the story uh, in my first twenty four ounce Tuesday. Uh, disappeared to Vermont and came back, and he had a four four pack of Hetty Topper. I drank three of them in the can, like it says you're supposed to, and then the other one I poured into a glass just because I wanted to see what it looked like. And uh, it's a good beer. I have not had Pliny the Elder, although. I do have, uh, let's get this on film here. Any chance I get to film my, my new kegerator, I'm very happy with this thing. So I do have uh, a Pliny the Elder clone, I'm calling it, there, can you see me? There, uh, Pliny the Snowman. Uh, came out, nice color. Uh, a uh, little, you know, it's pretty bitter, and if I would have brewed it the way the um, Zymer, Me, the Zymer, B, uh, Zymer G Magazine had the recipe, it would have been super, super hoppy. Let me turn it back around over here. Um, so I, I actually cut back, I think the first hop edition said like three and a half ounces of, you know, uh, Simcoe or whatever it was. I actually cut it back because I couldn't see doing... As many hot once I once I put it in my beer smith, and I looked at the uh, IBUs. It was going to be it was going to be like soup like 126 IBUs or something like that. And I, I don't think that's what I've never had a Pliny the Elder, but I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. But anyway, what I like about you know, you saw when I did that, that first pour, I haven't poured uh, this Pliny Pliny the Snowman. I'm calling it. I haven't I haven't poured that since yesterday, uh, but it comes out with a perfect pour, no foam. And that's because it's got the air cooled tower. So I'm really digging it. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I've got a visitor coming up from Australia. Well, actually, he's not coming all the way from Australia. He's an Australian guy. I met him uh, over in the desert several years back. A uh, good man. And uh, on his way uh, back home to Australia, probably back in 2010 when we first moved into this house, he came and uh, 
on his way on his way to the East Coast, he came and stopped with us for a few days, and I found out he can really he can really put away some beer. Uh, so um, now I've got a triple tap for him. That was back when I had the single thing, and, and I and I, I was just using uh, commercial beer. I was buying commercial beer back in those days. Uh, now I've got it loaded up with my homebrew, so uh, we'll see how much of a dent he puts in it. Hopefully uh, he doesn't put too much of a dent because I'm trying to bottle up some uh, some bottles to send you guys some of you guys some uh, beer mail. I owe Dan and Barrage Brewer. I, I owe him a beer mail. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, comp oh so anyway this this uh, Aussie he's going to be here on Friday. He's going to spend the night and we're going to have my wife's going to. Uh, scare up some seafood tacos and there's another Australian couple that lives down the road from us so we're going to invite them over so you know we'll have like an Aussie thing uh, we'll have shrimps on the barbie uh, we will not have any fosters because I know better than to try to serve fosters to an Australian because contrary to Outback commercials they do not like fosters you know what was that commercial fosters Australian for beer yeah they don't they, they don't like that at all so uh <clears throat> Well, oh, I had a major freaking brew day, and I'm, I won't. Sh I'll show the footage tomorrow for Homebrew Wednesday if I can get it edited in time. But um, the past two days I brewed, so I brewed Saturday. Is it Saturday? No, I brewed Sunday, and then I brewed Monday because I had Monday off for President's Day weekend. So Sunday I brewed old school double IPA. Uh, I forgot the final hop drop at zero minutes, so we'll see how this comes out. Um, and then Monday, yesterday, I brewed uh, Dreyer's Abomination. It's actually, some of you have tasted it. Uh, it was called Cum Laude, uh, Vienna Pale. But, I, you know, originally I called it Dreyer's Abomination because I took, you know, Dreyer who made a Vienna lager and replaced the lager with an ale. So Dreyer's Abomination. And uh, once I tasted it and compared it with a, a uh, drink at my buddy's house, I realized that it was really like fat tire, so it's actually an amber ale, and the characteristics are very, you know, probably dead on, so by accident I made my first amber ale. So anyway, I made those two beers, because I'm going to put those together with the rem remnants of the Munich Hellas that I have, and uh, I've got a lot of competition, so I registered in the National Homebrew Competition, so I'm going to do Old School Double IPA, Munich Hellas, and uh, Dreyer's, Ab Dreyer's Abomination. Uh, for that competition, and then I registered this morning for the uh, Cherry Blossom Festival uh, homebrew competition. Uh, I'm entering two beers in that one, the Munich Hellas and uh, Old School Double IPA. So, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see, uh, see how they come out. So, the brew day, everything's looking good. It was a very smooth brew day, uh, except I had a stuck spar, or not a stuck sparge, I had a stuck uh, uh, spout when I was trying to go from the boil kettle to my um, to my uh, uh, work chiller, but other than that, it was pretty, pretty, uh, you know, pretty, uh, pretty carefree. So let me get away from beer talk, though. Let's talk uh, twenty-four ounce Tuesday ramblings. Uh, yeah, you know, I was going to talk about the uh, the recent uh, Republican uh, um, presidential debate, but. Uh, there's just so many ass clowns uh, running right now. I, I won't even I won't even touch on politics uh, on both sides, not just Republicans, also Democrats. Uh, so uh, my wife and I have kind of come to terms with what we're going to do for the room on the other side of the of the chalkboard here, on the other side of the bathroom, the the future man cave. Um, so we're going to do Wayne's coating all the way around the bottom of it. Uh, I was trying to do an English pub theme, but. You know, it's going to kind of look like an English pub, I guess, a little more industrial. We bought some pendant lights to hang over the bar. They're very industrial kind of, you know, looking. Uh, we also got some industrial sconces that are going to go. We, we got a fireplace on the, on the opposite wall. And we're going to, uh, you know, cap it. There was a gas line that went into it, but it wasn't really safe, you know, the previous owners, the way they had it venting. So we're going to cap the gas line off, and we're just going to make it an electric fireplace. So we're going to get a little electric insert, put it in there. And then we're going to really do up that wall nice, put some bookshelves on the side, and put some stone facing on the, on the front. of Anyway, uh, it's get, you know, uh, to make a long story short, it is getting close to uh, being done. We've got the ceiling up. they got to do some, uh, move some pot lights. Uh, but soon, very soon, we will begin construction on the bar itself, and I'm really excited about that. We're going to build a bar from scratch, have the wainscoting go around the front, 
have the bumpers. I've decided to uh, use this triple cap. I instead of bump, you know, I hit a couple of you guys up about how to build keezers. Instead of building a keezer, I went and got this triple tap, and I'm just going to have the bar kind of butt up to have the have the keg built into the counter, but on the very end. So the so the slate starts on the other or, or, or tile or whatever we go with is going to start on the other side of the of the bar. Uh, and then we're toying with the idea of using. Uh, uh, hardwood that was left over from when we did hardwood in our house as the actual top level of the bar. So anyway, uh, my wife's going to town. She's sketching all this out. So uh, exciting times. I can't wait to get this thing built and uh, ready to go. So other than that, uh, man, weather's been kind of crappy. You know, we got some more snow last night. It's weird. We got about three or four inches of snow and then it rained on top of that, like freezing rain. Uh, which is why I didn't, you know, kids didn't have school today. But then it, it, it got up to 40 and all the snow melted off with the rain this morning, so go figure. Uh, so it's kind of nasty outside. I'm actually, I was kind of looking forward to the winter, now I'm done with it. You know, after that big snow we had last time of how many ever inches it was, you know, 18 inches. Uh, and then the 4 inches we got last night, I, I'm done with it. I'm ready, ready for spring, ready to get the hops growing again. Um, you know ready to uh, start a new chapter in my life for my, you know, I'm retiring this summer and, you know, starting a new career. Uh, once I figure out what that career is going to be, uh, i got to start job hunting and all those things. And uh, anyway, exciting times. So, well, that's enough of a ramble for 24 Hours Tuesday. Uh, still jealous of you, Alex, for that, uh, that uh, all that good beer that you got sitting there. That Batch 1000 looks really good, you know. I can't wait to see the review on that. Anyway, cheers and uh, happy tot or 24 ounce Tuesday.